everyone, it's Jack here at Mains Guild. So thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching the videos. Make sure that subscribe button, tell everyone about it. Ring the little bell, you know the full works. So what we're on with today is as you can see, we've got the fast track here and we've got the drill. And this is actually the last field of oilseed rape to go in. So I don't know when this video is going on, because to be honest, I've been a bit useless with the videos lately. We've just been a little bit busy. So uh, I haven't got the videos on. So it's actually the 25th of August today. I think that's the date. And this is the last field of oilseed rape. We thought we were going to be done a bit sooner than this, but we've just been waiting for some people to shift bales and that. But we've got them bossed now. The bales are out of the way, and this is the last field. So as you can see, Matthew is on ploughing the headlands. So the headlands are the bit round the outside of the field. And uh, he's got one run left down here now. And then uh, he's got the headlands ploughed out. So I've drilled the middle, so I flick you round. So I've got all the middle drilled on this field. It's all done. Uh, the reason that I'm waiting for Matthew is because uh, what we do is we plough the middle out, we drill the middle, and then we're not turning around on the headlands when they've been ploughed because you can cause a lot of compaction that way. So rather than doing that, uh, we plough the headlands afterwards. I'm not turning around on them all the time and I'm not causing a load of compaction, which is worse for the seed. So generally when we do this, Matthew will plough the middle of a field, then he'll move into the middle of the next field, then as I get that middle done, he'll go back and do the headlands and then I'll be on with the middle of the other field, if you know what I mean. And then I'll go back and finish that field because they're only next to each other. So uh, that's what we normally do. But as this is the last field of oilseed rape to do, uh, he's been away. He's been unloaded some trailers up with straw bales. We've still got a few bales left to shift. He's been unloaded them. And then he's coming back now. He's come back now and he's on with ploughing the headlands as I finish drilling so that we can get them bossed and get them drilled. So I'll show you him, he's coming down here now in a minute, so I'll show you a video of him. So I'll show you a video of the plough going, I'll get him to take a video of me with the drill so I can show you that going as well. And then we'll see how we do, but Lewis is also on his way back here with his tractor because he's coming rolling. He's rolled that field yesterday when we finished it last night, and he's rolled the middle of the other field when we finished that last night, just to make sure we got it all done in case it rained. Um, so he's rolled them, so we've got the headlands to roll on that field, and then he's got all of this field to roll. So he'll be here soon as well, so we'll try and get a video of him. But while we're waiting for Matthew to come down here, I better just show you the new toy, the drill, and show you what it looks like. So on the front of the fast track here, we've got a Dalbo 4 meter folding press. So uh, fairly impressed with this, to be honest. So they've got these discs on the front here, these serrated discs, which are split. So they're actually working at different heights. So if I go below there, you can see as it's on the floor, they're different sizes. So they're always breaking the soil up because they move, there's movement. So to be honest, by the time they've gone over, they're fairly destroying it anyway because it's good soil. But before them, some tines here that go through. So they just go through, tickle the top up, break it down a little bit. Then this goes over, the serrated discs, which roll it, break it down more and pack it down a bit. Then you come to the drill. So this is a four meter folding drill. So you see it's quite heavy, tyres are looking flat because it's heavy, but don't worry, it'll be okay. So what you've got is you've got a para on the front, which is here. So you can see there, so it's four metre folding para. So these tines spin round real fast and destroy the soil underneath, they turn it to dust. So that's what they're for. We have a pair of eradicators on each side, so they follow behind the wheeling. So you know what I was saying about compaction on the headlands turning around? These are just to rip it up a little bit, so you can see where I've left a wheel mark there. They pull behind just a little bit into the soil just to destroy that bit of compaction that you do there. Behind the power hour, we have this here. So this is a roller packer. So this just goes over it, creates a nice level soil seed bed ready for the disc coulters to come over. So these here are the disc coulters. So the old drill we had were on Suffolk coulters and you could go nowhere near as quick as this one. This one here, is disc coulters, so it drops the seed down this tube into here and it slots into the ground in between the discs. So you can go a lot quicker. They don't block up like soffit coulters and they do a grand job. Got these wheels on the back, which just press down behind the seed just to make sure it gets buried in the soil. So quite a few people have been looking at me drill and they're quite impressed with them, to be honest. So it's a Lemkin drill and uh, yeah, they seem to be quite impressed with them because not many have them. And then to follow that, these tines and these tines here just literally go through the top like that and make sure that the seed is completely buried it spreads the soil over the top 
so there we go so that's a bit of a look at our new drill hope you've liked it and there we go not bad timing here comes matthew so we'll go and show you him good good so here he comes so he's coming down here now and uh, you can see tractors on quite a lean there so what that is is around the edge of this field here we're just reclaiming a bit there's quite a bit of grass that's grown out into the field and that so we're getting it bossed we're getting it reclaimed and he's doing a good job of ploughing it so there you go it's looking well you see it's ploughing up it's good soil and there we go i'll crack on drilling now and then hopefully we'll show you lewis with the rollers if he gets here soon good good